Hello, everyone. Welcome to Sunday School for Ages 3 and Up. I am Annette Lago. I am the Youth Director here at St. George, and I'm going to be sharing the story with you of the transformation with the slideshow. And then afterwards, I'm going to show you a craft that we can make based on this story. So this is based on Luke chapter 9, verses 28 through 37. And we begin. Jesus took Peter, James, and John and led them up a high mountain to pray. They were all alone. Jesus began to pray. The disciples were very sleepy. And they decided to take a nap. As Jesus prayed, the appearance of his face changed and his clothes became as bright as a flash of lightning. Two men, Moses and Elijah, appeared in glorious splendor talking with Jesus. They talked about the things that were about to happen to Jesus to fulfill the scriptures. Now, it's very strange that Elijah and Moses appeared with Jesus because they had died. Peter, James, and John woke up and saw the glory of Jesus and the two men standing with them. They were frightened, and Peter blurted out, let's make three shelters for Jesus, Moses, and Elijah. Then a cloud appeared and covered them, and a voice came from the cloud. This is my son, whom I love. Listen to him. Suddenly, when they looked around, they no longer saw anyone with them except Jesus. As they were coming down the mountain, Jesus gave them orders not to tell anyone what they had seen until he had risen from the dead. They kept the matter to themselves, discussing what rising from the dead meant. And that is the end of our story for today. And I have a little craft we can make together, or actually I'll show you how to make it. And then I would love it if you uh, would share these crafts to this Facebook post so we can all see what you make. So these are gonna be um, candle holders. So you can remember the light that's shown through Jesus. Um, so you'll need a mason jar. Uh, I happen to have a little tiny one, but you can get a regular, well, really any sized one. And then um, you'll need some tissue paper and some glue. And you're gonna water down the glue so it's you know a little more liquidy and you can spread it over your glass. And then you can tear up pieces of tissue paper, different colors are all the same, and then just glue them to your jar for decoration. You could add beads, ribbon, whatever you have around. Um, uh, sparkles. <laughs> Anyways, um, and then you're going to want a little tea light, and then you'll just place that in there, and you'll have a beautiful candle holder. Right, that is the end of our class today, and again, I would love to see your tea light decorations attached to this post. Bye, everyone.